It's a beast. Yeah. Is that working? Hello, welcome back to my office. I thought I'd put together a quick video, kind of as a follow up to yesterday's video where I picked out a load of vintage electronics from the shelves in order to test them, clean them, research them and get them listed. I thought it might be interesting to share with you how I got on and the potential value that those things had. Because let's be honest, what we really want to know is what this stuff is worth. Is that example, that selection I picked off the shelves, would those things be worth picking up to resell? How much are they worth, Nick? I hear you cry. Um, so I thought I'd quickly run through, let you know what I discovered and how much I'm going to list the stuff for. So we will start with this Panasonic uh, VHS and DVD combi. Um, not a recorder from one to the other. Um, at least I'm still not thinking it is. I haven't, to be honest, I haven't read through all of this, but I don't think so. It's just, it combines both functions. Now, this is the one thing, actually, no, there's two things out of everything I'm not actually listing right now. This, I am waiting on a remote. I did actually show a remote when I picked it off the shelf yesterday, but this isn't the rem remote that goes with it. I think I was sold this remote with it, but it doesn't do the job. Um, it's for something else. So, um, yeah, I will sell this one on as it is. But it isn't the right one hence I've ordered a replacement because these do sell without a remote they're selling for a whole range of prices as with most things on on eBay but they're, they're selling for between sort of 20 to 40 without remote and also without remote I can't find a way of switching the function from VHS to DVD it seems to be functioning but without the remote, I can't switch the output. There may be a way, but I can't find it. The remote, I've managed to find an official uh, Panasonic remote for this for nine pounds. I've ordered it, it's on the way because I'm going to list this for around 60, 70. So it's worth that extra investment to lift it up into the top end of what these sell for, complete with remote. And as I found, it's a bit of a struggle operating this without the remote so i'd rather do that than than potentially have a return etc so that's that one panasonic it's an nv vp 30 eb right <laughs> um so yeah the remote had a message to say it's been dispatched so i will have that in a couple of days already drafted it that's going to go on for probably about 70 i would imagine Next, I picked up two vintage radios from the backlog. This is a lovely vintage Roberts. And yeah, works fine. I've done my research. I'm going to go for, instantly forgotten. I think it was 25. <laughs> Let's have a look at the draft. Yes, 25 plus shipping. I've decided on this because it's in nice condition. If you look up these Roberts radios, this one in particular is a an RP26B, you'll see up there. Um, prices range all the way from 20 to 40, depending on colour um, and condition. I'm going to go 25 with shipping for that one, and I think that is quite easily achievable on that. Achievable on that. I think. Um, the other radio was this one, which was a Fidelity 208. Doesn't seem to be much demand, and this isn't in great condition. Um, so I think I'll be lucky to get 15 out of that one. Um, you can probably see some of the damage to the to this grill. Yeah. See where it's been dented. I couldn't manage to clean that particularly well. So that's not amazing. I'm gonna shoot for 15 on that one. VHS players. I think I said in yesterday's video, I might stop picking up 
bog standard video machines, video players. But this kind of changed my mind. I haven't sold one for, for ages, probably six months to a year since I sold the last VHS player. So maybe, maybe they've gone up in value, who knows? This I didn't think was anything special. It's a Matsui. It does have its remote, which makes a big difference in the completed prices of these on eBay. This particular model, which is a VP9408, had been completing, completing, completing? Yes, had been completing on eBay for anywhere between uh, sort of 20 to 40 with the remote for the top end of that price bracket. So I've gone, I think I went for 40, did I on the draft? Let's look. Matsui, yes, 43 shipping I've elected to go on that. So that's not bad. And this one, I remember picking this up. It was one of those yard sale trail things we like to go on. And I think I paid three pounds for it, two or three pounds. Um, so I might carry on picking up VHS players now. Next, there were a few, oops, dropping things. There were a few little DVD and Blu-ray players. Um, there were four of these kind of mini ones. The Blu-ray player, um, I don't think I'm going to sell that one, but the DVD machines, I am. This is a Sony kind of bog standard thing. This one has HDMI output rather than SCART. Um, chucking in an HDMI lead with it. And let's see, which one is this? Uh, this one I've gone for £15 plus shipping. So not too bad. I have sold these for as low as £10 plus shipping. I don't know whether prices are on the move with these, I doubt it, but that seems to be achievable for a bog standard Sony DVD. So we're gonna go there. The other Sony um, is very, very similar. It's a slightly different model number. And this one, if we have a look on the back, is SCART output rather than HDMI. If you are gonna list these, that is well worth putting in your, in your listing. Make that clear. If it's HDMI output only or SCART only, the buyer will want to know that. Um, you know, you might avoid a few very simple problems, you know, by just sharing that information. So anyway, with remote, this one, uh, which one's this? No, two, uh, same price I've gone for, 15 plus shipping. So, you know, if you can grab these for a pound or two, they're a fairly easy test, a fairly easy flip. It's a bit of a fiddle because you do have to test them, obviously. But yeah, uh, 15 on that one. The other one was a Bush. There you go. Again, super bog standard thing. This one is SCART output, no HDMI, super simple, with a uh, remote, um, slightly less desirable, I think. Oh, I've gone the same price. Ah, I went free shipping, ooh, <laughs> so basically slightly less. Um, I'll probably put offers on that because this, this, the Sony brand does help to sell stuff. This is super bog standard and yeah, I think I may struggle to get 15 on that. But that's what we're going to shoot for. As ever with pricing, I tend to aim kind of here, knowing that I might accept something here. You know what I mean? And then long term, if things aren't getting much interest, um, I will lower my prices anyway. Um, it makes sense to me to always start high. You can always come down over time, um, which is what we do. And we have offers on not all of our stuff, um, but a lot of our stuff we have offers on. So the buyer can send out an offer that we can consider. And if people watch your items, we can send them offers to tempt them to buy. So the prices I've quoted will have that kind of wiggle room in. You know what I mean? So that's how we tend to operate. 
with our stuff. So that's that. And the last item was the record player. Lovely, lovely thing. Let me grab that. So oh, it's a beast. Yeah. There it is. So vintage pioneer turntable. Um, it is working. Um, it's got um, the, the belt hasn't lost its its tension and it's and it's spinning up perfectly well. It has a spare cartridge. Well, I say it's spare. I think this is the original. This is a Pioneer cartridge, still with a stylus on. So I'm going to leave that with it. I'm going to chuck that in with it because I think it's the original. Uh, the owners have changed the, the cartridge and stylus out. So it has one installed. It has one on it already. Um, but it's got a little cover on, you may have seen. Um, yeah, it has one slight problem in that when you turn it on, when you plug it in and turn it on, it has an off mode, right? Um, when the the um, turntable isn't spinning, then you turn it on and it spins up and then you can lower the needle onto the record. It doesn't stop when you put it back into off. It just keeps going for some reason. So there's a switch issue somewhere inside it. I would imagine it's an easy fix, but I don't want to pull this apart open it up I would rather sell it and declare that it has that it's a very slight issue it doesn't really affect its usability at all um, it's just kind of frustrating but I would imagine somebody who is um, more proficient in repairing things and wants to have a go would find that an easy fix apart from that uh, condition is great um, and it, like I say, it's a lovely thing. I was considering keeping it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to sell this. I have just done the pictures. I'm just looking. I think I've done the draft. Um, what did I decide? Yeah, I decided to go at £100. Now, this exact model has finished lower than that, but it has finished quite considerably higher than that. With this issue, with the, with the, the turntable continuing to spin when you slip it into the off position... I'm going to start at 100 with offers on. I'm also adding shipping onto that. Um, we will see what happens. Um, I had a few people interested in this. If you are interested in this, message me not on eBay. Message me through Facebook and we can talk about uh, doing a deal on it privately. So that is the turntable. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, as I was saying, I have taken all of the pictures. I'm now going to go through all of these drafts on my phone, drop in all of the pictures and make everything live. Um, so, I'm quite pleased with that. I only picked the stuff off the shelves yesterday afternoon. It's now the following day in the afternoon and everything is tested, cleaned, now photographed. It's all drafted already, apart from the Panasonic that we talked about. Oh, it's there. <laughs> Apart from the Panasonic that's right in front of me, which I'm waiting on the remote uh, because it makes sense on that one. I can get it properly tested and having the remote jumps it up 20, 30 pounds in value. I procrastinate like crazy with electronics, but when it comes down to it, I have quite enjoyed dealing with this. There was a few frustrating little problems here and there, but the value of this stuff is well worth the time. I need to just remind my brain that it's not that difficult to get this stuff tested and cleaned and listed. And it's well worth the time because this stuff sells. It really does. For today's video from the archive, I will dig out a, a road trip video where we hired a van and we went and we filled the van with stuff. There was loads of electronics in that hall, actually. Loads of really cool electronics. There was everything you could imagine. We, we bought uh, another reseller's entire stock. Uh, it was amazing. So check that video out where we filled a van with stock. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you soon.